Are you interested in and are looking for a laptop computer? You can check out the Asus VivoBook S15 laptop computer. This is their official website, asus.com. Now, at the time of this video creation, this Asus VivoBook S15, which the full model number is S5507 laptop computer, $1,099.99. Obviously, that price could fluctuate into the future. Again, if it, uh, that was listed as one thousand one hundred dollars, oh, that'd be too expensive. But the the one penny, yeah. Oh, uh, now all of a sudden the orders flood in. I'll go over some photographias muy rapido. Front, the rear side, front side, from the top, with the lid closed, one side. Another side angle view of the front, the opposite side connectors, and back. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just cut to the chase and cut after this, then go to the more technical specifications. Okay, so it does include artificial intelligence capabilities. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processor is included. You would receive up to 18 hours of, I believe, charge time. But there is a disclaimer. It supports 3K, 120 hertz. That's the refresh rate per second. It has a ultra large organic light emitting diodes display screen. It's a metal case, 1.47 centimeters thin. It weighs approximately one and a half kilograms. The body. It has a red, green, blue keyboard. Okay, let me cut to the chase up here because there's a lot of marketing and sales fluff that I cannot stand. Okay, so the full model number is S5507, even the QA. It's the Asus Vivo Book S15. And the price is on screen again. Only comes in one color, cool silver. Yeah, cool. What do you mean? Just call it silver, you know? <laughs> Alright, processor Snapdragon X Elite X1E7800 processor, 3.4 gigahertz, 42 megabit cache, 12 cores, 12 threads, artificial intelligence engine integrated, or also you could receive the Snapdragon X Plus X1P64100 processor, 3.4 gigahertz, the same amount of cache, 42 megabits, up to 3.4 gigahertz, 10 cores, 12 threads, and also has the artificial intelligence engine embedded. The integrated graphics, Qualcomm Arduino graphics processing unit. It does include a neural processor, neural linguistic programming, I mean Qualcomm Hexagon 4.5TOPS. The display is diagonal, 15.6 inches. It does support 2,880 pixel by 1,600 pixel resolution. Organic lighting magnetic diode, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Wow, the response time is 0.2. A lot of times are around 0.3 nowadays, maybe even higher than that, you know, 0.5. But okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. That's the refresh rate per second, 120, 600 nits. The peak brightness and what else? Color gamut, 1 million to 1, 1.07 billion colors. It says 70, the number 7, 70% less harmful blue light. Yeah, blue light can be a problem. You, you could study that. There actually is a computer on my YouTube channel that I discuss that actually does not use blue light technology. Allegedly, blue light technology can actually possibly, possibly cause insomnia, and it just it bothers your eyes. Memory, either 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of the dynamic data rate version 5X that's on board. I'm not sure if it's soldered. I'm not sure. I'm not even going to discuss that. I never give advice. I never guarantee anything. I don't recommend anything. Storage, either one terabyte M2 NVMe PCI Express version 4 solid state drive or you could purchase this laptop with 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe PCI Express version 4 solid state drive. The input output ports, two Universal Serial Bus 3.2 generation type A ports, two Universal Serial Bus 4.0. 
There's not many computers that I have, you know, discussed recently that have USB 4. This has two Universal Serial Bus 4, Generation 3, Type-C su support display, power delivery. Now, that is the Universal Serial Bus Type-C. But the fourth generation, the bandwidth is going to be different than the third generation. One high-definition multimedia interface, 2.1 version. It, it has a duplex, also known as combination, meaning input-output. One 3.5 millimeter jack, audio jack. The micro smart digital card reader. It does have a touchpad. It has a 1.7 millimeter touchpad. Camera, a fidelity high definition integrated web camera with. Okay. Oh, it has a privacy shutter. Infrared. It has a. It's infrared, but it does have a privacy shutter. I believe it's manual. You just click on something, or you move it, or whatever. I don't. I don't think it would be software driven. I think it's probably just a little piece of plastic. You just move over, get it. Privacy shutter. Okay, audio. It has a built-in speaker, a built-in array microphone. It is Harman Kardon. It just says one, one speaker. It doesn't say it's two or dual or anything. Yeah, most laptop audio is not very good. I mean, even if you spend a lot of money. Yeah, if you spend a really a lot of money, the speakers might be bigger. But on an average laptop computer, the audio is usually not very good. Especially, you know, their, their, their speakers are so small that... They're not going to have much bass, if any. It does support Wi-Fi 7, 802.11BE, tri-band, which is 2 times 2. That might be MIMO, but it says tri-band. It supports Bluetooth 5.4 wireless card. Okay, the battery is, I have about a minute, the number 7, 70 watt hours. It's a 3S1R, that might be the model, excuse me, 3S1P, it, the number 3. It is a three cell lithium ion or lie ion. That sounds like lie, you know. The word lie or lion. Ooh, scary. Wait. The number three and the number 13 and the number 33. 3.13 pounds. Gee, yeah, okay. The dimensions are on screen. Now. This is bloatware. I'm not even going to mention it because the built-in applications at these computers, it's almost always bloatware. A lot, most of that's not even necessary. You know, you could reinstall the operating system, just download an ISO and don't, and then don't install the, the included applications. Okay, that is this video pertaining to, I hate, I don't like ASUS's website really. It's, I just don't. I don't like a lot of these websites. Way too much. Asus Vivo Book S15 laptop computer specifications. 